Okay, I'm going to quickly run through how to estimate how much drywall that you're going to need <clears throat> in a particular project. So we have two rooms here. We have an L-shaped room and we have a rectangular room. Um, if we wanted to estimate how much ceiling drywall we would need, um, we would basically just take the length times the width. In this case, our room is 15 by uh, 23. So we would... Um, just simply calculate the area 15 times 23 is 345 square feet okay so that's fairly straightforward just to calculate uh, the area now um, to calculate <coughs> how much drywall we would need for the walls um, we're going to assume that we're working with eight foot ceilings so we're going to use one sheet of drywall that's going to go from floor to ceiling uh, eight feet tall. So what we need to do then is we need to calculate what the perimeter of the room is and then multiply that by eight feet to get the area of the wall. So we would have a section of wall that's 15 feet long, 23 feet long, eight feet long, 15 feet, seven feet, and eight feet. And that's what I have here. And um, if we get our calculator out, we have 15 plus 23 plus 8 plus 15 plus 7 plus 8 equals 211 linear feet. And then if I go 211 linear feet times... Let's just double check that 14, 23, 8. Oh no, that's 157. That's incorrect. Let me try that again. 15 plus 23 plus 8 plus 15 plus 7 plus 8 equals 76. My mistake. So we have 76 linear feet and then we multiply that by 8 so we take that we multiply it by 8 and we get 608 square feet okay so if I was just drywalling this one outside L-shaped room we would have 608 square feet now we have this inside room here as well that's 15 by 7 so the perimeter of that is 15 plus 7 plus 15 plus 7 so we end up with 44 <clears throat> the perimeter is 44 feet and then we multiply that by 8 so 44 times 8 gives me 352 square feet okay now to find out the total area we would take our 608 plus our 352 and also if we were including the ceiling in our calculation we would also add 345 um, but we're not um, and that's 960 square feet um, and that would be the square footage of the walls okay now when we drywall we have waste um, and to account for that waste what we're going to do is we're going to assume 10% waste so if we take our 960 square feet and we multiply it by 1.1 so 960 times 1.1 that gives us an extra 10 percent waste it's 1000 1056 square feet so that's the actual amount of drywall that we want to purchase now you can't go to Home Depot and say I want 1056 uh, square feet of uh, drywall they sell square uh, they sell drywall in 8 feet by 4 foot um, sheets so in other words 32 square feet each sheet so if I take our 1056 and I divide it by 32, I end up needing 33 boards, okay? 
So if I take 1056 and I divide it by 32, I get 33 boards. So I need a total of 33 boards. Now boards cost, I looked it up on Home Depot's website, they cost $12.58 each. So we could, to calculate the total cost of drywall, we could take um, 33 boards times 12.58 um, and calculate the total amount for that. So if I go times 12.58, we get 415.14. Okay. Now the other thing that we need for drywalling is we need joint tape. So joint tape, we need approximately eight feet for a full from floor to ceiling seam. Um, now there might be other seams that we need to do if there's windows, doors, other things that are cut out of it that we maybe need to put two pieces of drywall together but we're just going to assume that we need one seam for every board okay and then what i do is i add one because there's going to be a starting seam and an ending seam so we would have approximately 34 eight foot long seams so again i'm going to go 34 times 8 272 approximately 272 feet of drywall joint tape. Okay, now you can buy the joint tape in rolls of 200, 300. I looked it up, one roll of 500 feet. Um, tape costs $7. Okay, so we would need one roll. All right, we also need to calculate how many screws we need. So we can assume that we need 24 screws per sheet of drywall. So if I take 24 and multiply it by 30, uh, sorry, 33, then that would give me the total number of screws that I need. So just again, we go 33 times 24 and we end up with 792 screws. Okay, now you can't buy a box of 792 screws, but you can buy a box of 1,000, and that would be $19.78. So very quickly, we can do a really quick sketch of what the rooms are going to look like, and then by using calculations for perimeter and area, we can figure out what the cost would be, and we're talking about $450, say $450 to... Uh, drywall that room for materials. Obviously there's a labor cost, but we're not talking about that today. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful for my students uh, for our drywall uh, estimating assignment, and we'll see you soon.